What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jax. We're going to go over VeChain. We just came down to our next buy zone. So we're sitting at 0 0.073. We're down about 1% on the day. Could be in store for a big pump, similar to what we just saw for Cardano. Uh, we're sitting at a market cap of 4.66 billion, 24 volume, 216 million. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to crypto.com, you can sign up to the world's fastest growing crypto app and grab one of their incredible Visa cards for cash back in crypto, free Spotify, Netflix, Prime Travel Incentives. Depending on the level of card that you have, $25 um, just for signing up through my referral. Okay, let's get into VET. We're going to start on the one hour time frame. So we've hit two of our buy zones. 0 0.077, 0 0.070 brought your break even down to 0 0.035. We have some bullish divergences here. You can see we're creating lower lows on the chart while creating higher lows on the RSI as well as on the money flow, signifying that the bears are running out of strength. So I wanna pop over to the four hour time frame so we can take a look at some of the patterns here. So we have a head and shoulders, bit of a slanted head and shoulders, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. So I'll grab your technical target, take this out to the top of your pattern, take it to your point of breakout. So this could take us down to about uh, six, 65 cent, or sorry guys, 0 0.065. My dyslexia mixes up all the numbers. However, we have come back down to a strong level of support. We broke out of this channel and we rolled over and what we've done is we've created a nice large double bottom pattern. So if that were to come up and retest this neckline, you can see a nice breakout to the upside. That's if it does push back up here, and it could take VET all the way up past this take profit zone up to about 0 0.099. So that could be a juicy trade from our break even. If it were to go all the way up to its target of about 34% for VET. So just something to keep an eye on. We can see here on the four hour as well. The RSI as well as the money flow is in the floor, and that's usually when you're going to see a bounce back to the upside. So I wanted to show you guys the daily time frame. I think this is really, really important. So you can see here on the daily, we're creating lower lows. We have a bullish divergence on the daily chart, just as we had with ADA, as it had been going through a very, very harsh correction, bullish divergence on the RSI. I'm gonna show you guys ADA. I just made a video if you wanna check it out. Check out ADA guys, huge bullish divergence. We created a lower low while creating a higher low on the daily RSI. And we saw a massive 50% pump back to the upside. So that's what we're seeing right now. We're creating lower lows while creating higher lows on the daily RSI, which could signify a large pump back to the upside and quite possibly to test this level of resistance coming in at 0 0.010. And from this low, you're looking at about a 45% push. So that definitely is a possibility in my opinion. You can see the money flows in the floor. The MACD is quite low as well. So I think VET is in store for a pump. We have a lot of strong support right here, right here, support and resistance in this area. Of course, we can come lower, but if we do come lower, guys, you're gonna see an even larger push back to the upside. That's why it's incredible to dollar cost average at this time. We had this ascending triangle. We broke down your technical target 0 0.050. But we also have this descending broadening wedge that I had been mentioning, and now we have a possible reversal pattern, double bottom. We've come back down to retest this level of support. So we could see a push all the way back up to this resistance coming in at 0 0.099 for our friend VeChain. So that's basically it for VET. Our next impulsive wave target, what you would do is you would take your Fibonacci from this swing high here down to your swing low, depending on if this is our true bottom. Of course, we don't know that for sure yet. It can be broken. For example purposes, you would target the 1.618, which actually breaks the previous high, and it would take you up to about 0.35. But of course, we need Bitcoin to recover to see that happen. But in the meantime, I definitely think a big push to the upside is due. We could come a little bit lower, but we have a nice bullish divergence on the daily, which which is a strong sign of a reversal in the trend and a pump back to the upside. Let me find the last time VET had a bullish divergence on the daily. Right here, guys, see how we're creating lower lows? Higher lows on the RSI, massive pump back to the upside. So that's what we're seeing once again. Quite a harsh correction, guys, but if we were to hold this low, we do have some bull run targets, uh, 75 cents, forty. the two extension, 217 at 2.272. If you want a dollar cost average with us, guys, it's equal amounts at each buy zone, brings, brings down your average price halfway each time. And if you're leverage trading, don't recommend more than two to three X and you have to double your margin. We have buy zones here at 77.70.59.035, 0 0.035, 2.4, and 
and 0.13. I always think it's important to have buy zones for a 50 to 80% drop, but of course it doesn't come straight down. It works in waves. If you want early access to these charts, as well as over 1,500 members, this is a little private chat here, 1,500 members talking all things crypto. Here's the DCA charts for many, many coins. I just added ADA Cardano, and we have many members posting chart patterns talking all things crypto. It's 350 USD, the price of a coffee. You can sign up through the Patreon if you want to sign up. If you want to trade with me, sign up to Bybit, $4,100 in bonuses for a limited time, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, much love. Take care. Mm -hmm.